the main action of the muscles that move the pectoral girdle is to stabilize the scapula so it can function as a steady origin for most of the muscles that move the humerus. The subclavius originates at the first rib, near the sternum, and inserts on the inferior part of the clavicle. This muscle depresses the clavicle, which stabilizes the pectoral girdle. The pectoralis minor is deep to the pectoralis major muscle and originates on ribs 3 to 5 and inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula. It abducts the scapula and rotates it downward. Besides its role in movements of the scapula, the pectoralis minor muscle assists in forced inhalation. The serratus anterior originates on ribs 1 through 8 and inserts on the vertebral border an inferior angle of the scapula. This sawtooth muscle abducts the scapula and rotates it upward. It also elevates the ribs when the scapula is stabilized. The trapezius muscle originates on the occipital bone and spines of C1 through T12. It inserts on the clavicle and acromion of the scapula. The movements generated by this muscle depend on which parts are being activated. The superior part of the trapezius upward rotates the scapula. The middle part of the trapezius adducts the scapula. The inferior part of the trapezius depresses the scapula. When all fibers are activated, the main action of the trapezius is to stabilize the scapula. The levator scapulae muscle originates on transverse processes of C1 through C4 and inserts on the superior border of the scapula. It elevates the scapula and rotates it downward. The rhomboid major and rhomboid minor muscles lie deep to the trapezius and are not always distinct from each other. The rhomboid major muscle originates on the spines of T2 to T5 and the rhomboid minor muscle originates on the spines of C7 to T1. They insert on the vertebral border of the scapula. Together, 
they elevate the scapula. and rotate the scapula downward. When the muscles around the scapula are activated at the same time, then the net result is actually a lack of movement. The stabilized scapula then can act as a relatively immovable origin for humerus moving muscles.